going on and welcome back to some more Black Myth Wukong. In the last one we made some progress here in chapter 3 uh, but we also ended up going back and fighting uh, I think his name was Yin Tiger. Is he in here or where does he show up? I think he shows up out of characters. Yeah Yin Tiger. We fought him. He is in kind of like the little hub world that we unlocked just recently. Uh, where all our merchants and upgrade people are. Uh, he's the blacksmith. Took us a while to beat him, um, but we did finally beat him. And he gave us pretty interesting reward. Did it, it wasn't... One of the things he gave us... Oh, he gave us an extra curio slot. And he gave us um, a transformation that we haven't gotten to try yet. I guess we can't really see here, but anyways, we have a new transformation that we'll give a try. Um, and anyways, we'll continue on from here. Last time we kind of jumped down immediately and went on like this side path that ended up bringing us right back here again. But we haven't gone that way at all yet, so I guess that's really the only way to go now. A really big staircase, huh? It's kind of weird. Oh, wait, we could do the jump thing. <laughs> the screen does not know what to do when you do that, though. Okay, there is an enemy, except... Is that this statue, or is that through the wall? I think that's through the wall. Why can I see that? It's kind of weird. Oh, it's one of these guys. Couldn't really tell what kind of enemy it was. Can you, like, move to somewhere more convenient to hit you? Oh, hello! I guess I've got to deal with that guy because I didn't realize there was another one. really do need to try and actually use the moves of Thrust Stance rather than just use it for the fact that it gives me stamina back. I hear like someone walking, but I don't know where. It almost seems like it's up there or something. Maybe it's you, I guess. There's so many enemies, huh? I can line this up. Yeah, it's pretty fast damage. I feel like that's much faster than our light attack combo. Oh, I... Right, you, you can't just hold the buttons. Oh, really? That was not the right timing? I'm trying to get this timing right. I don't it's like a it's a weird somewhere in between where I kept hitting the buttons there and I just kept missing it over and over. Okay, that's a curio box. I gotta remember that what the different boxes look like. So what does this do? Increase... Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. Land enough successful hits on the enemy to avoid the next fatal blow. 
Is that like permanent? Like once I've landed enough hits, I just avoid a fatal. What does that mean? Avoid a fatal blow. I assume it means like live with one HP. But that seems really good. I don't know if it has like a timer on it or something. Like, oh, you got to take the fatal blow within 20 seconds or something. If it doesn't, that item just seems crazy. But I guess we'll... I'm not going to use it right now because there's no reason to really use it while we're just running around. But against bosses, seems like a very good item. Some will... Is this a side path or what is this? No. Not a side path. Can we see the... Maybe jump down there actually. No, cannot. Try to see if we know where we're at. But I can't really tell. Seems like that might be a boss fight coming up, huh? This seems like an ideal room for a boss fight. So why don't we just equip that new curio now then? And maybe, I don't know how I'm going to know if it's working or not. Oh, this is not... It's just a dude. Oh, the non-white guy. This guy's a spirit, though, huh? All right, I already forgot all his moves. We gotta break his guard. Oh, jeez. Oh, I pressed it too early again. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, I'm frozen. Okay, we broke his thing. Now he's like poison. I want to, oh, I want to try the, the new transformation. I wasn't working during that. I don't remember the moves for this, but there's like something special you can do once you get full focus. Oh, I don't have it yet. I guess the red meter maybe needs to be built up. I don't really know how well that worked. Oh. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. A transformation seems really strong, though, like... I didn't even try and dodge anything, really. Give me your spirit. And yeah, I have no idea how good the curio was. I was not paying attention to when I had the buff or not. What do you do? Moderately increases poison and frost damage. 
Okay, well, I don't do either of those. What's the move? I no idea if that's any good or not. It looks okay. I feel like some of them that we've seen look better than that. So, he was a chief. He's here. Still got some chiefs that are earlier in the list, huh? Okay, we did get another meditation point. I think we're still missing two on this map, or this chapter. So this also means that we have three sparks, I think. So we probably should pick something to level up. Part of me thinks that we should start leveling up transformation, maybe. Because that transformation seems pretty good. So if we could make it stronger, because that's like literally a base level transformation and it seemed quite effective. Let's check and make sure. There's not six in this chapter, is there? No, there's only three. Or, only five. <laughs> we have three. So, like, what kind of stuff could we get? I think I, like, looked at all this stuff, and I feel like I didn't care that much. Although, this could be pretty cool. Getting the... Illusion to explode. Oh, but I need to get this as well. Focus gain for perfect dodges. So I'd have to put in four points to get this. And I feel like it's not really worth it unless I get this. The finisher deals more damage is pretty decent. I don't really care about that. I don't think I care about any of that. Uh, we already maxed out attack. We could get crit rate or crit chance, but it's only 1% per. But it only costs one spark. There's definitely the option to just boost our base stats. Like, just max out stamina recovery or something. Oh, I am level 60 now, so now I have this unlocked, huh? What else? What's at the bottom of this again? Oh, I don't think I care about that, because I don't do the varied combo ever. And Thrust Stance doesn't even really have a bear, Or at least I don't have it unlocked yet, right? To unlock it, I need this. Yeah. And I, I don't even think that counts as a varied comp. I don't know if that counts or not, because it's not actually a move. Or it's not an attack. Wait, why can I do this already? Follow a whirling thrust... Oh, it's an extra thing afterwards. Yeah, I don't know if this counts as varied combo or not, because I don't this doesn't actually cost any uh focus. So I don't think it helps me at all. This feels like it could be pretty good, though. This, I don't know if that's good. It would have to be a lot of damage. Also, this is probably pretty good, huh? Just get even more stamina back. I think I get both of these... 
honestly, Immobilize is starting to feel worse and worse because, like, that last guy, it didn't even work on him at all. And we've run into a few enemies where it just kind of doesn't work. Because they're, they just, like, immune it or they become untargetable during it. I don't think that's worth it either. That could maybe be worth it, but... So what I'm thinking is... Scorch damage... Alteration spells. Which ones are alteration? Loud step and rock solid. So what I'm thinking is we do those two upgrades that I said. And then we maybe focus on buffing our transformation. Unless there's just like a stat that I really want. I, it would just take a while to get all these stats, unfortunately. Like critical hit damage. But we don't even have a high critical hit chance, so that doesn't seem worth it. So maybe I would max out on stamina recovery. Well, let's do that. We'll get this. We'll get this. And then we'll try and use this move more, because this only matters if I actually do this move. And then I think we'll work on transformations, probably. Because, like, what can we get for transformations? Besides, the defense seems pretty good as well, but um, each talent level slightly reduces the might decay when transformed, increases might recovery speeds. So that just makes it so we can use transformations more often because they don't seem to cost mana. They just cost might. Maximum might increases attack while transformed. Max health. I don't tend to die in the transformed state ever. So I don't think that's really relevant. Each talent level slightly increases the might retained from detransforming. Uh, I mean, we'll have to see if this ever becomes relevant, but right now it doesn't really feel relevant. Increasing attack seems good, but it costs more. Increases maximum might. Isn't this technically the same? Like having maximum might and having and decreasing or reducing the might decay is essentially the same thing, right? Unless there's other things that can reduce your might. Like, does getting hit reduce your might? I probably just want this then. Start getting a lot more maximum might so we could just. And then combine that with Might Decay and maybe some attack while transformed. Okay, which way was I going? I think we came from there, right? So we're going this way. Oh, we're doing another sliding section? Okay, well, I'll try and make sure I don't miss any items or something. Oh, big. No, not a cutscene. We did kind of figure out on the sand that you can like stop yourself by jumping. I'm not really seeing anything to go for. Valley of Ecstasy. I didn't like see any items. While we were on the sand, I like definitely noticed some items that I wanted to get. But here I didn't see anything. Oh, I honestly did not think it would let me down here. Hello. You are very fast for some reason. There's also something over there. A 
Let's... We'll probably just rest real quick. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's a guy. This seems like an optional boss, huh? Maybe a path over there, but... Oh, it's a frog. We haven't seen a frog. I guess there's maybe one frog per chapter. Long Lee Gulong. Oh, that freeze. That freezes me just for standing there? Okay. Hello? Oh, I didn't switch gourds back to the one that gives me frost reduction. This is annoying. He just turns, like, this entire place into frost. pretty good damage, but I almost died for it, so I guess that wasn't the greatest strategy. I guess I'll just double drink here. Off of this before I get frozen. I am almost frozen. Oh, he throws rocks with that? Oh, never mind. There are chunks of ice. Okay, we beat him. The freeze is definitely annoying, huh? Let me. Let me switch gourd. Oh, actually, I'm curious. How many gourd uses do I have left? It's kind of hard to tell. Two or three. I'm kind of curious if you switch gourds. This one, right? If it... How it changes your uses left. It seems to have kept the same uses. Which is interesting, because that means that technically the optimal way to use gourds, especially if you have a special gourd like this one that's going to be more effective, would be to have your gourd with the most uses equipped first, and then after you've used it a few times, you swap gourds. I don't know if you can swap in the middle of a fight or not. I haven't tried. That's obviously something you can do in Souls games usually, is swap gear. But I don't know if you can do that in this game. I need to get better at that. It's so difficult. It's like when he touches his hand to the ground after coming backward. Oh, he doesn't even touch his hand to the ground, does he? Just look like that because of the snow. I just burned all my. But like when he stops moving backwards and plants his foot, that's when you want to press the button, I guess. Okay, so we can go that way. Is there more this way? So there's more that way. And then we obviously saw a path that went backwards as well. And then there's something that way. Why is there so many paths? Surely, like, some of these aren't important at all, but 
Why is there so many different directions I could go? Start with going backwards. Jeez. I feel like sometimes that move just stops dealing damage. Even though it kind of looks like you should keep hitting. But it's not terrible. Some will over there. This almost feels like the correct path because of all the will over here. Wait, why is this water moving so slowly? <laughs> like, it's... This is a waterfall. I guess some of the water is moving quickly, right? But why is this water right here? It's like oozing down the hill. Like, that is not how water works. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Okay, well, now we're down here. guys explode, right? Yeah. There's another shrine down here? We were just at a shrine. But I guess I don't know how to get back up now that I jumped down here. So there is that. this thing look like it has like got like digital things coming off of it does it always look like that now I've really got myself onto a path this feels a lot like it's just gonna be the main path huh is that the a spirit. Let's go this way. There might be like a shrine here to help us fight this guy quicker. I think someone's attacking me. What is happening? Oh, you. I hate this enemy, by the way. That might be my least favorite enemy in the game. Like, they're easy to deal with if you can hit them. But sometimes they're not easy to hit, especially once they start hovering. How did I get on this super long winding path? Am I at least back up to where I was? I think I am. Kind of. Like, not exactly where I was, but... Yeah, because I remember this tree above me while I was in the river. So it's saying the shrine is over there, huh? So where exactly was I exploring before I chose to jump off the cliff? Okay, hello. We were here, and then I jumped off right there. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I actually dodged that. Gosh, there's so many pads. Okay, I'm getting better on the timing of that now. Seems like a mini boss or something. Non able. Oh, okay, he just kicked me in the face. He seems pretty able for being non able. Can't do anything to this guy. He's so slow, but his moves are hard to dodge in this state. <laughs> Dang it. So remember how I said I never run out of health with the transformation? I ran out of health with the transformation. Okay, we traded there. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, he's got a phase two. Ow. Okay. Pretty good damage. Oh, okay. Okay. That does a lot of my health if you get caught. No, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, no, I didn't press the wrong button. It just didn't work. Okay, he just kicked me out of the air, huh? Oh, that, that counted as a dodge, huh? I'll take it. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, jeez. I need a heal. Okay, we got him. We defeated non-able. Does this give me full healing, by the way? Sure seems to. I kind of expected him to break free from his handcuffs, but I expected him to to do it earlier in the fight. When he didn't, I was like, oh, I guess there's not a phase two. But then, of course, 
we depleted his health bar and then it became phase two. Which I don't know how I feel about... Uh, I was thinking about it recently while thinking about Elden Ring. I don't know how I feel about health bars, like multiple health bars. Especially when it doesn't tell you that there's multiple health bars, right? Because I think that the Elden Ring DLC really started to move away from that. You saw it in the base game for Elden Ring, like a lot of bosses had just straight up another health bar. But then in the DLC, I can't recall any bosses that had another health bar. I think there was one, I just can't recall which one it was. But like all the hard bosses didn't have another health bar. Or am I crazy? No, I guess there was one. I think the giant sunflower thing had multiple health bars. But I think that was supposed to be thematic. Because I think it was like a new sunflower. Or like it was being reborn every time or something. But anyways, so that brings me to my point. I don't know how I feel about having multiple health bars that you don't know about. Right? Like in Sekiro... For the most part, you know when something has multiple health bars because it takes multiple death blows to kill it, right? Um, but there are some exceptions to that because there would be, like, multiple phases where you're fighting different bosses in the same boss fight. But yeah, there's something about, like, if, if a boss, if you, like, are trying to kill a boss and you're measuring your progress based on how much damage you do to its health bar, like, that seems very logical. But then when you f then finish that health bar and then the boss grows an entirely new health bar, then all of a sudden it, like, throws off all, all of your progress determining because now there's another health bar and you don't know technically that that health bar is the last one either right granted they don't really do three health bars very often but it's just something that i was thinking about i can't figure out if it's good or bad game design to do that i just thought it was interesting that the DLC for Elden Ring, they really strayed away from that. Even the hardest boss, which is the final boss, um, he did not have multiple health bars. He only had the one health bar, and he did like his big phase transition at half health. And it was like a cutscene phase transition, right? Where like you get him to half health and then he transforms in a cutscene where you can't hit him. Whereas some bosses kind of like phase transition and you don't even notice. Or like, they do like a small animation or something, but you could still, you're still in the fight the whole time. Do I want to rest? I don't really see it. I mean, the, the only reason to rest would be to get mana back, right? I guess I won't. Part of me wants to... Because I know there's that tough guy at the bottom of this river. That we gotta fight. And it'd be probably nice to have mana for him. But at the same time, I don't really want to bring back all the enemies around here. So I came back up that way, right? So that means I've been there. Is there anything else further this direction, or did we do everything up here? Because there's still stuff all the way over there that I didn't do. I think that's it, right? That seems to be all of it. 
So let's go explore up above on the other side. And then maybe after that, I'll come here, I'll rest. And then I'll go down the, the hill. Because I think that's the correct way. I could be wrong about that. But. So what's the best way to get back? I go this way? What the? Oh! <laughs> he was inside the statue? Okay, I didn't expect you to hit me with that. Okay, more tree pearls. I don't know, it's really tough to tell what the main way is here, right? Because, like, logic tells me that it should be this way. But after going so far down, it kind of feels like it's down was the main way. Ooh, examine, huh? So this is the shrine we were at, and then we went back through there. Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me heal. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with... Wait, this is like the story that we watched, right? I thought I could aid him in his career in return for saving my life. Little did I foresee that following a dream... He would take my life. My soul lingered, yet he left without a trace. I sought tirelessly, only to find he had become a monk in the new Thunderclap temple. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Confront him. And calm my sorrowful heart. What the heck? He's hiding in the side hall of the temple. Kind sir, will you lead me to him? Hmm. I don't actually know where I'm going, so I guess we're kind of just winging it, huh? I don't know if I need to hide from enemies right now. I assume the temple is this way. Okay, these enemies don't seem to care about me. Oh, they care. Okay. I was wrong. So that kind of makes me think that I should kill the enemies first. Really? So even more now, this feels like the main path, right? But let's investigate. What? What is... Oh, I didn't even see you. Wow. We need to figure out where the temple is first, probably. Oh, another one of you. Okay, these other guys aren't enemies. Are you? I hate you. Really? He? I was gonna use the wind mantle, but he like fell off the cliff. Uh, by the way, these projectiles are going through the ground, so I don't know like what I'm supposed to do here. So annoying that this can happen. Where are you? Did he reset or?
he didn't reset, but he's like stuck somewhere. I didn't even see him when we went over there. So this does not seem like where the temple is, though. Did he, like, fall off a cliff or something? There's definitely a cliff right here. So he's either at the bottom of it or he's dead. I think we've been down there already, right? It's like somewhere over there is where we fought the frog. What am I fighting at? Oh, he's still alive. He's making his way back up, I guess. Oh, annoying. Oh, now he resets. Oh my gosh. Do I go kill him? I kind of feel like I should, just in case he has a reward. Pretty high chance that he doesn't, but... Enemy aggro in this game is a little bit off. Just because, like, the fact that they get all their health back when they reset... Every time that's mattered, or like come into play, it's been really annoying. It's never made like made sense. Like, oh yeah, that that should have happened like that. Like this time happened because the guy fell off a cliff. In the past, we had that one guy who's like his aggro range was like less than twenty feet, and then he would reset, and it was really awkward. That guy obviously didn't drop anything, which is annoying. But yeah, we had that one guy whose aggro range was just super short. And he would just randomly reset in the middle of the fight, even though you were right next to where he spawns. And that was weird. I feel like at least one other time I've just run into a situation where I thought the resetting was stupid. Yeah, we'll fight our way up this. And then we'll go grab the fox form. I assume we'll get some reward for it, so. Because it definitely feels very optional. It was on the main path, but I could have easily not talk oh i i knew he was there i didn't know he was aggroed yet so he scared me i saw him earlier and then i wasn't looking at him anymore and apparently at some point he aggroed uh i guess there was probably no point to heal here because surely this only gives me one heal back and not two Side path, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to look now. That little water part at the bottom seems like a dead end, so I probably should go there sooner rather than later. Oh, it's that thing again. That weird, like, dragon thing that flew over our head earlier. What are you? Oh, we fought you before. I pressed the buttons wrong. I can't believe that hit me. Out of... Man, Thrust Stance is just really good. Like, the fact that I actually hit, I kind of expected it to miss. But the fact that it hit was crazy. So is this the main path or an optional path? Once again, it's impossible to tell.
And like, even so, this kind of looks like the way to the quote-unquote temple. But I don't even know if the temple is the main path or not. Because that seemed like a side mission. Oh, this is going to be annoying. This might be a transformation thing. The good thing about this transformation is it doesn't stagger that easily. So I can just kind of like... brawl with people. Oh, I, I didn't end up getting enough focus. Okay, so we gotta check that curio as well. Right, I got another spirit I forgot to check. This guy, right, right, right. Slightly increases attack, critical hit chance, and critical damage, but massively reduces max mana. It's interesting. How much are we talking? Five attack is not... I guess it, it doesn't decrease your mana as much as I would have thought massively. I would have thought massively, like, reduces it by 75% or something. Only loses 50. But, like, the stats that you're getting are not substantial is this any good I, what does that do let loose a flurry of punches and kicks different phases of light attack enable different moves why does it not show that it just shows you transforming and then doesn't show what it actually does although i don't know if this has done anything what does this do wait can you equip multiple of the same curio in this game? You sure can. It's interesting. I didn't even think that you would be able to get multiple of the same curio, but... Apparently, you can equip multiple of the same one. Give me the hairpin back, I guess, for now. Oh, right, we got another legendary, the snow fox brush. The deceased white fox transformed through her fur into this brush. With it, you can take on her form and fulfill her final wishes. Oh, wait, I can just... How do I take on her form? I assume I have to go back. I don't know if I have to go back to that body or not, or if there's a different way for me to do it. I can't really see very much right now. Part of me just wants to turn around now and go down to the lake. So we have all the enemies dead on down all the way till there. The only problem is if I die, I might have to re-kill those two guys. Guess I could probably just run past everything else. That also lets me check if I can turn into this fox again and then probably when I come back I'll go that way first because that other way like going through that gate seemed like the main path but I say that every single time right everything seems like the main path in this game there's just a lot of paths for what is mostly a linear game there's a lot of paths so can I do this again? I cannot. So how do I turn back into the fox then? 
because supposedly I have the ability to do so. Is it a spirit? That's the earth wolf. Uh, we'll, we'll try and see if it's a transformation when I come back up here. What's the fastest way? Probably not this way, right? Probably this way. I just don't want to rest right now because we have all these enemies dead. Although, like, why is there a shrine over there? That shrine is pretty close to the first shrine. Like, if this isn't the main path, why put a shrine there? Hey, that guy. Oh, hello. Okay, that's not good. It's like all ethereal looking, but that doesn't seem to provide him any protection. moderate amount i don't really want that is your move any good the move seems kind of good but only if you actually knock back the enemy so probably not good against bosses then okay so we would have come from there maybe this does go further Last time we went through this cave and I just went straight up that way because I wanted to get back to where I was. Got some asparagus here. I don't feel like why does it look so much like asparagus? Like I just don't get it. Hello, Frogman. Hey, this frog guy couldn't figure out how to get around the tree. Why is there so much will in here? There's three flames, which would give me back three healing flasks, right? See, I feel like I could jump down that way. Are you kidding me? I don't want to fall while attacking this guy. <sighs> I tell you, it's impossible to figure out what is the main path in this game. Well, give me all this will and then I guess we'll go that way. problem with this path is there's no turning back if I go this way, but I guess we'll take it because I don't want to just keep running back and forth between the paths that I have available. I just gotta go one direction and when I get to the end of it, go the other direction. Oh, 
Oh, there's a shrine here. This seems like just straight up a boss fight. <laughs> okay. Where exactly are we? Let's get some bearings here. The watermelon field. Brook of Bliss. And this is where we ran into Fox Lady. Can we go this way? No. This just seems like an optional boss, so why don't we give this one a try? I'll equip this thing again, even though I don't even know if it works or not, or how it works, but let's do it. What's going on here? It's not a boss? This is something I need to come back to later? Okay. I don't even know, like, there's no hints as to what I am even supposed to do here. Well, there's got to be a reason for this, right? So otherwise, this is just a dead end, I think. I don't think that's an area we could go to down there. I don't know if I'm missing so. What's this place called again? Maybe it's a name will give me a hint. Watermelon Field. That oddly does not give me any hints to what I'm supposed to do here. Um, the one thing... Hold on, we gotta try some stuff. First of all, no, I don't want to cultivate spirits. Set spells. We have that guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. So I don't see the fox anywhere. I don't know how to become the fox again. Um, how many sparks do I have? I only have one. I mean, we could try and break the Buddha statue, I guess. That's like the only idea that I have at all. Yeah, I gotta rest again, though. See if this works, but I kind of doubt it. Like that wall's a little bit suspicious as well. So maybe I should try that as well, but Well that went as I anticipated. We'll try that wall, but I don't think I could do anything here at the moment. This wall almost looks like it has like a crack in it, but maybe. Okay, that did a whole lot of nothing, all right. So. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Maybe there, uh, there'll be something at some point that makes it obvious why we would want to come here moment I do not know. Uh, nope, don't want to go there. We want to go back here, I think. Because this just kind of leads to the watermelon field. But it doesn't make any sense why it's further down the list. I'm very confused. This area 
doesn't make any sense. So, can I become the fox again, or how do I become the fox? Maybe I use that item in my inventory? Ah, okay, I see, I see. Uh, I'm gonna detransform right now. Okay, so I, th I mean, we explored down. I think I found everything. Except I don't know what to do with the watermelon field. We need to go this way again. Unfortunately, some of the enemies are going to be back. But we have that other path to go to on the left. And then we need to continue straight. And we need to figure out where the temple is. To turn into the fox. Wait, unless... Hold on. Surely that watermelon field wasn't the temple, right? Is it you think didn't didn't the fox say like thunderclap temple or like a thunderclap monk or something? You'd think that it would have some name that would resemble that. So if you were supposed to use the fox here, I, I think it would have been more obvious. Oh, so I could just use this scroll to go to the, the hub thing? Interesting. You can't really do very much as the fox either. <laughs> Oh, you can't even teleport as the fox. So yeah, I don't know what to do at the moment here. Hopefully we'll figure it out before we move on to the next chapter. Or I guess I might look it up if I can't figure it out. But we'll continue on from here. But I think that's going to be it for this first episode here. Um, let's take a look at the journal before we finish up. See what all we did. What new things we found. Kind of hate that it starts you at the top of this list every single time. Thunder Rhino Master. Chief. We beat Frog, we beat Non White, and we beat Non Able. I don't know why it is non like something that I'm not understanding. Maybe that's like some some Chinese prefix or something that doesn't actually translate that well. But anyway, so we beat all three of those guys today. And other than that, We'll just keep making progress in this area. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one. We'll be back continuing this area in the next one. But hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.